Integrated Engineering and EPL are both claiming that full E85 is less powerful than E40 on stock turbo B9 3.0T as you have to turn down the boost in the mid-range on full ethanol, ethanol. What do you say? Yep, you do have to, you, well. You, you have to turn. You, you have to turn the boost you down. You have to control the boost. Of, because of, yeah, you're, 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 you know, the amount of fuel you can provide is limited. Um, but you gain that back with, you know, a little more timing. And I, honestly, like, these turbos are making so much heat already. Um, mm -hmm. There's not, uh, if, if you guys are so worried about that, why aren't you making the amount of torque we're making? Like, that's yeah, kind of what I have to say there. Look like, at the power figures. We're, we're already putting out more yeah. than, you know, everyone else on the market. Um, mm hmm so yeah there's just the, the amount of boost you're running doesn't always equate to the amount of power you're running. no and i think that's the fallacy here is boost is not directly correlated to horsepower ignition timing is a better and, indicator well, there's a pile of other things isn't it? yeah these motors, lots it's of ignition other timing cam timing yeah. in, injection timing there, there's you know you've got so much control over the rest of the motor that but but um, what they're saying is assuming that if you can run four more psi boost right. you'll make more power right. and that's just ridiculous because if, if you can't support with ignition timing then it doesn't matter you're just making more heat yeah um and and ra raising your egts you're not making more power and it, it actually could be unsafe so we're lowering the boost we're adding more timing and we're making more power so i, I don't know you know what, what it's based on right um but you know I and mean, people say all kinds of stuff so thank you for asking us and letting us respond to it yeah yeah, we, but, we went uh, back and forth with this a lot in the B8 world, too. It was like X tuners. Oh, look, they're somehow making 28 pounds of boost. Yeah, it's like, in B5s, this used to You're be. on a supercharger. You're not making any more boost than anybody yeah. else. They're they're logging the wrong thing, or you've got a huge restriction somewhere that's making the thing, you know, just fill the <laughs> motor with air and not get it out the tailpipe. I remember B5 stage 3, people were running 30 PSI on KO4s. And it's like, you can make just, more power with 24 yeah, PSI. Just because you can run more doesn't yeah. mean it's, it's better. So, yeah. you know, that, yeah. Sure, maybe you could run some more boost in E40. We haven't found a reason to. It's a lot easier to fill up an E85. You can do it. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, much 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 easier if you can just pump in E85. That's yep. the way to go. All right. Well, I think we're 